Okay, hit me up. What's happening? So we are at the IFSC World Climbing Boulder Finals, Meringen. Yep. Meringen. Mm. Is it Meringen or Meringen? Meringen. Meringen. That's a halfway house. 2019, <laughs> which was the kind of the big one where crack climbing first hit comps. Yeah, I would say so. Got, yeah. main, got mainstream, didn't it? Yeah, it was the one where the cracks blew up on the Instagram DMs. Yeah. It where went. we got sent stuff from quite a few people. Quite a lot of people. Yeah. 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 And I think some people hadn't uh, even <clears throat> seen cracks before. This was like, it's like presented it to the world, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. In, in, a, in a way that, in a reach that we couldn't reach. <laughs> in a very small reach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because we're the only, well, we're not the only ones, but we're like, we're pushing cracks. But this helped give it a big boost. It was kind of before this comp that it was like the concept of cracks in a comp and almost indoors was just stupid. Why would you do that? It's clearly not going to work. It's not going to differentiate any climbers mm. and split them. And then they smashed this out in the comp. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I saw that on the wall, and like, like I was in Norway at the time, and people were sending me messages going, you've got to get on the live uh, stream. Yeah, yeah, you've yeah. You've got to get on the stream. There's a crack. There's a crack. And I, like, I was thinking, oh, it's never going to be a proper crack. And then I saw this and went, whoa, it's John Monchon on a paddle hands and thin hands. Oh, it's freaking brilliant. Yeah. Okay, good. Start with competitor one. So it was basically four Japanese, one Korean, and an O-Dog. Yeah. Yeah. I did wonder at the time, because they would have seen this problem. Mm. Or would they? Would they have got viewing? Uh, they, I think they do I view the problem. Oh no, I think they do view the problem. Do they view the problems? I think they do view them, don't they? Beforehand. Do they have, they have like four minutes on each going uh, one to the other? Yeah, they? probably, yeah. 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 And they discuss beta. Yeah. What do you think Andre was dis... You know how they all like discuss oh, beta? Like, yeah, I bet he didn't give anything away. <laughs> I did think it was interesting how, you know, with hindsight watching this competition, they all did a very similar sequence at the beginning, but then it all completely went all over the shop as soon as it got <laughs> yeah, to the proper it, yeah, hand yeah. jams here. So like here is he's reaching up and you can see his thumb is just not. out on the outside, just wiggling around like a little fish. All he's doing is, is just compressing. Yeah. 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 There's no thumb action. That's like those sessions when we have crack school. And we, see, we say, let's have a look at your hand jams. And they put it in, and the thumb's here, waving on the outside, yeah. like, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa. Got to <laughs> yeah, get, get the thumb in. Get it in. Thumb first, then fingers. Yeah. Three, three, three steps. One, two, three. That's, a, that's get, how simple it is. Get them on it. Should have taken our offers up on crack schools for all what these comps. He, he looked like he was kind of jamming in the bottom there, though, because that looked quite smooth. I couldn't yeah. see what he was doing. But... I think he's like doing some sort of stack thing at the bottom. Then he goes to thumbs down. But I feel like he's really not deep enough on this bit. Yeah. Like he's he way too far to on the outside. To, needs to be up to his wrist. Yeah. Like go, just sliding it in more, rolling <laughs> yeah. it in. Oh, what's he saying? What's he doing with his hand there? It's in a half crimp. I can see it. <laughs> it's Look in at those fingers. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's in that is quite funny, Harry. He's so strong, <laughs> his just hand just immediately goes into that position. Yeah. I'd be there going... <laughs> yeah. would be great in a few years when we see comp climbers they're mimicking it and they're like yeah mi yeah mimicking their like their paddle to their ring lock yeah and you see them at the bottom like oh, like practicing their ring locks great yeah, that'd be good. or just on the floor upside down in a wide pony like mimicking the sequence oh yeah, yeah that would be good do you think there'll ever be a wide pony yeah in a comp yes you do yes oh, it's I'm coming it's coming, yeah. I'm not so sure. I feel like a wide pony would be one step too far. Nah, I mean, imagine like Magos, or O-Dog, or like oh, Stefano, in, like on the he not on the head wall, but in the roof before the head wall. On a wide like pony. on a wide pony. I know, it'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that little finger. Just, oh, just crimping up. inside, yeah. yeah. It's sort of like it was curling, wasn't it? Yeah. Like it wasn't flat. I mean, you'd never see a bent finger like that from us from inside a, a crack. It'll be finger barred for glory. <laughs> yeah. Trying to milk every single bit of friction out of the surface. Every single bit of paddle. I do think in general, though, the technique on the first bit looks good. Yeah, with this first guy. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, and th this crack here as well is. Um, I was really lucky because I think it only. I think it was just last year. I was over in a training camp in, camp in Switzerland with Will Bosey, mm. and we went to the Swiss uh, training headquarters for the national team, and they had that crack in the gym. Yeah. So I got to see the volumes and all the crack plates that had gone inside. Was it? Were the crack plates actually on it? Uh, you... The crack plates were all like lined up in a line. Okay. So you could actually like take them off and feel how thick and how much they came out. Uh, okay. And they were basically like little cheese wedges, mm. which made a open crack, which is, you know, flared into effectively a, into a, a parallel. flat parallel crack. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't, was it on the wall? No, it wasn't on the wall. Oh, no, it was just on, on, on like just with on the, the ground. Volumes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Were they practicing? Is that why they had it at the camp? No, I think they might have just been friends or something like that with the... Huh. I don't really know just how they ended up going back there. Yeah. yeah. I kind of feel like maybe I should contact them and ask them whether I can buy those holds for prosper prosperity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, it's a it's famous set of holds, isn't it? It is, yeah. John on Chom first go. He kind of looked strong initially, didn't he? Went to a thumbs down, not chalking up the back of the hands much. I keep noticing mm. that, like not much going mm. on the back here. You know how we get the chalk and we kind of like grind yeah, it into the into skin. The back, and, and into the palms as well. Yeah, yeah. Back in the palms. It's sort of like much less about the fingertips and it's like all about the palm, the mm. palm on the back. Yeah. Because really when you're hand jamming anyway, in a hand jam like that, which kind of looks like a good size, it's less about the fingers anyway and it's more just about getting that, that meat. So you want the, you sort of want the friction on. On there, don't you? Oh, that's a bold <laughs> move. Trying to get around the crack. I wonder what he was thinking there. Do you think he was just like, I'm just going to go John one style? <laughs> I think he was thinking he was, in, he was in trouble. This comp, Jamie Cassidy. Yeah. British root setter. Yeah. He knows his cracks. He's not going to... I think he'd be pretty careful with not making, making sure it's not cheatable. Do you think with the Olympics coming up... Yeah. Percy Bishton, international route setter, chief route setter at the Olympics for bouldering. Yeah. Will it be in, in the Olympics? Is there going to be a little cheeky crack somewhere? I somewhere. Yeah, I reckon it's going to be a crack. And I reckon it's going to be in the women's. Yes. I think so as well. <clears throat> because I don't think we've seen cracks in the women's yet. No, no. And they've had an that's, easy ride. That's exactly what I thought as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Percy will just go for just something. We need to get Sean down, sell her. British. To co coach her up. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nation effort, isn't Shauna's it? Sean has been climbing, crack climbing with you, hasn't she, though? Yeah, she has, yeah. But it was a yeah. long time ago. Has she done any cracks in comps that you've seen any kind of, you know, prowess of what's going on? Whether she, she's I been saw, practicing. I saw her doing a fist jam in between some volumes. Oh, really? On Instagram, yeah. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can't, can't let the British nation down. No, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That would be very disappointing if the Olympics were lost to a crack. On a, yeah, on <laughs> yeah. a hand jam. Yeah. And there our cellar was all those years, just <laughs> waiting in Sheffield, barely a couple of miles away. Oh, there you go. So there's your thumbs up. Is he thumbs up though? I don't think he is. I reckon I he's just going pure compression. Yeah. Like a, oh, like a right. true boulderer. Yeah. And that's where he should have slotted a foot in, like a perfect... Like, pinkies down, big toe up, slot it in, knee up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, twist it right, just milk the foot out of that. Yeah, because he was going serious power there. It's probably like V13 doing it that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing, is because they're so powerful, these climbers, I think they don't default to sometimes the best technique, because they're used to using all their power and oh, strength. Just, yeah. Um, whereas as both me and you know that there's a lot of technique to cracks because we're oh, I'd love to have a go at that problem be good wouldn't it yeah it would well I wonder if we'd even get past the start that's the bit that worries me the that's most the I think yeah. yeah yeah the top looks alright it does look like an okay hold though at the start yeah it's just like a power move isn't it like undercut power move into finger jam I wonder if I could get hold of those volumes recreate the whole thing down here oh just set it down yeah here. yeah we should we should buy them and see if we can get the like plates i reckon we can get them over i mean they do look like an on oh, it's quite a unique set of volumes isn't it i reckon we should i reckon we should get all these volumes and set the problem 
I might have to ask where they are yeah. at. Yeah, yeah, we should do it and just see if we can do it. Yeah. And we'll just look at this video and then set the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how steep do you think that is? It's probably like 35, is it? 40? Mm, difficult to know, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, see, he was going into thumbs up there. Yeah. Ah, I think this... I'll just get a, a zoom out. This might be the wall which gets used by the Swiss national... This is like a portable wall that they take down and they put up at comps. Ah, so we can just ask if we can get the portable wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just need to zoom out a bit and find out. Right, so where are we at now with these guys? What's going on? Oh, we've lost track. He's on the thin hands. He's going into thin hands. Yeah. Oh, he just immediately shuffles it out. I wonder how rough those volumes are. He's just pressing, isn't he, with his foot? You There's want, not really much toe thin, jamming going on. And you want thin boots for this stuff, yeah, you don't do. you? Yeah. TC bro pros. Yeah. Inner comps, <laughs> high top boots. I'd love to see somebody come out in a pair of high tops God. in like an ISFC comp. What other things like would be great that you could come out in? Like crack gloves, high tops. What are like the other crack climbing type? Mm. Like, if there was some off wits like coming out in some elbow pads or something. Or, oh, like, like those things that Mary wears, you yeah, know, like yeah. the cycling sleeves all the way yeah, up. Like the neoprene things. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Just like, instead of them having all this tape down their arms and stuff, they've just got like the <laughs> neoprene pads on. <laughs> or just their whole arms are taped up. Oh, like the Steph Davis job. Yeah. Like yeah. up to here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's just like fighting through that thin he's, hands at the start. He's still going, what's he going? Is he going... Oh. He sort of had the right idea then, coming like thumbs down in and then coming up underneath. Yeah, yeah. And I think also is that having that thumbs down thing does give you some kind of way of sort of forcing technique mm. because you get that torque, don't you? Like your bones are forced into a twisting position. Yeah. So you can get something more out of it. Oh, it doesn't look deep, does Yeah, it, it doesn't look deep at all. He, well, he, you can see when it zooms out, he's just on that layback there. Yeah, not psyched. Not psyched. Pooped. He's pooped. I think that move on that layback's probably really quite hard. Yeah. Yeah, as probably. Well. Yeah. I bet it's like a little bit slopey. It will be slopey, yeah. I mean, um, it looked like they were struggling with it a bit, didn't it? I wonder if those volumes were designed to be a crack originally, or yeah, whether they just sure. got them out and yeah. went, oh, let's have a go at making a crack. Oh, no, but they had the plates, didn't they? Mm. So yeah, they, must they, have, they must have thought this thing out beforehand. Yeah. Well, I heard they were thinking about this for like a year beforehand. Like figuring out like a sort of th a crack or something something uh, like that right, yeah. yeah I think they've been thinking about it for quite a while who's this? Ray Ray Stigmata oh so stacked these climbers aren't they? <laughs> yeah one of these days we'll be looking at top level crack climbers and, and they'll, they'll have muscles like that yeah 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 but right now it's <laughs> Randy <Ryan> Newman <laughs> Mason <laughs> Earl and Danny <laughs> No, you're a proper athlete. Uh, I'm not an athlete. I think, I think you're kind of like crossing that boundary nowadays. Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> How many kilo pull-ups do you reckon they could do on a hand jam? Mm, these guys, probably yeah. not that much. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah. Oh, did you see his hand? Oh, he had blood. some wounds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah, they are licking wounds there. I wonder if we should ask them whether they want to do the 9C crack test. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should do. I wonder if they've actually been practicing since this competition. The, Jap oh, the Japanese I hope ones. so. I, I never get tagged in anything, though, in Japan. No. Ever. Oh, there you go. So he's going yeah. thumbs up. That looks like the sequence to go for. Yeah, and that looks like a proper hand jam. Like, something is... See, that looked good. Because he looked like he was sort of more going to the back of it, which is what you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you can, like, insert into the bottom of in, the Into the bottom, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, nearly always, when you do that and you go thumbs in, you then cover up your next jam, and it's really hard to kind of get around your own elbows and wrists and things. Mm. What do you think is crossing his mind at that point? <laughs> is that what he's got left? Yeah. 135, yeah. Um, do you think he's wishing he's wa he'd watched a bit of Wild Country Crack School? Wild Country Crack School from back in the day? Yeah. What's <laughs> <laughs> oh, it going in? Thumbs down, I think he's gone he? thumbs down, yeah. yeah. See, if you go thumbs down, I think you want to come in underneath. 
and then do a flipperoo. Oh, it goes up. Ooh. That looked pretty good, but getting tempted in by the big pinch. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think he's going to do this problem, is he? It'd be interesting, though, if you could give them like a couple of days of me and you teaching them the basics of the oh, techniques. they'd be all over it. Whether they come back and they just cruise it. They'd be all over it, I think, wouldn't they? Do you think? I mean, it's just technique, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's not really about getting stronger. It's just using the right it's tools. It, yeah, it? using the right muscles in, in the hand and forearms and twisting in the right way. Shaking those hands out. I bet, mm. they're, I bet they're smarting a bit. And none of them taped up beforehand. No. That's what I also thought was interesting. That no, no one had gone, gone for it. Yeah, yeah, hadn't maybe gone because it. Maybe because it was new. It was a new thing. And it was just like, oh, do I, do I tape up? Like, what's the... Ah, uh, right, yeah. What's the deal with that? Or maybe they just didn't know how to tape up. It's weird, though. This is 2019. We're not talking, like, 1980 here. I feel like looking back at 2019, like it was about 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. We've been on, like, a really weird tw- time warp for all this time now. Yeah, that was kind of, like, best effort, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Foot's not going well into the crack, though. No, I think with that foot jam, you can either go for the toe in and push or toe in and twist that way. Yeah, yeah. I think those are the two options. Who's on? I think it must be Big T. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Tomoa. Yeah, you can see when he's going up like that. There's not much. <laughs> there's not much of this action going on, is there? I cannot see those thumbs <laughs> moving at all. It was, it was just pinch. Okay, so straight into... Come on, Tomoa. Oh, he's gone again. Goes again. Yeah. Well, that's how freaking strong he is, isn't it? He's gone thumbs up. That yeah, looks good. That looks really Promising. good. Oh, is that... Is it, yeah. And then he came... He came went out. in and then he came out, didn't yeah. he? But I think maybe they're just... They're putting their hand in, but maybe they're just squeezing this way. Mm. And just like trying to trying to hold it. I think it's, it's because they uh, the crack isn't deep enough, so they can't go fully up to the wrist. I think a lot of these comp climbers will basically know like a bone locker hand jam. Yeah. So if they can bury it up to there, they're good. Mm. But as soon as it comes out to like anywhere around that area where it's crossed between thin hands paddle, mm. they're just getting into a lot of trouble because it probably just doesn't feel anywhere near secure enough. Yeah, Tamura's just totally reaching past that finger lock at the beginning, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And now he's going for some <clears throat> power layback, Ugh. pure power. I mean, he'd be on belly full of bad berries just lay backing against the roof, wouldn't he, with his feet? <laughs> like, yeah. It probably wouldn't find it very hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> lay back in one edge of the crack and then feet on the other yeah, edge. Yeah, yeah. Lay back. <laughs> yeah. It's probably strong enough to do it. He'd probably do the same on such a crack. <laughs> just lay back the whole blooming thing. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to have good endurance, though. That's just too loose. It'd break off the edge of the yeah. crack, wouldn't it? The other competitors quietly thinking, oh, I hope Tomoe doesn't do this. <laughs> hope he doesn't suddenly work out how to hand jam. I think he's thinking next, how do I get around these jams? Oh, it's like, how do I power around it? Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to try and do a John Monchon. Okay, he's getting big on this one. You can see he's properly shaking out. Okay, what's it gonna go? Oh, it's going big. <laughs> He's going big. I bet that lower thing is not actually. Yeah, that thing that they're brushing. I don't think it's probably as good as you potentially think. No, I bet you it's terrible. And if me and you got there, we'd like literally take that other hand off and just immediately fall off. Yeah, we'd probably never even make it into the crack anyway. And then like yeah. we wouldn't even have to wave at the thing. So who's who's next? Oh, big O dog. O dog in the house. Let's see that. Oh, let's, let's see that cheeky little smile. I bet he's so psyched he knows he's getting a crack. I like his little thing at the bottom where he's just thumbs up. Yeah. That's what he's yeah. Doing. Thumbs yeah. up, thumbs up, Jam. Is he going to chalk up the backs of his hands? Can't really see. Difficult to know, isn't it? Bet he's feeling confident, though. Right. That looks. <laughs> oh, that's where, he, <laughs> that's where you know he's swings an arm out after one move. He's not even pumped. <laughs> Shakes it out. Adam, true glory there. And the um and the foot as well. The oh, the left yeah, the left yeah. foot in the crack. Yeah. With just um because I think all the all the other guys were placing foot on 
like just in the sideways thing and then maybe smearing on the other volume there. Mm. Whereas the big O dog, toe in, drop the heel, wiggle it in. Yeah, like yeah. A, like a true, dropping it like <laughs> ran smear, dropping it like it's hot. Yeah, like a true seasoned crack climber. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Here he, here he is. Here Look, to so go straight into thumbs up, <clears throat> feels so confident, waves the crowd, <laughs> yeah. just nosy in, and then just marching hands up the crack. Yeah. Doesn't even shuffle, doesn't swim up. No. Just goes straight hand no. over. Pinch, pinch. Does he go for a foot jam? Is he foot oh. jamming there? Yeah, so I think he go, He is. He got his left foot in, hasn't he? Left foot in, heel down. Yeah. And then he's... Just uh, adjusting, that other hand. adjusting the other hand to get the reach for going again to the top. And it goes big, and there he is. It just lobs it on for the top. Smashes it. I mean, that's a big, long move, going for that again with the left hand. Yeah, so it is, actually, yeah. It kind of tells you how good that jam is. Yeah. 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 Beast. He's all, he's all over it. All over it. Oh, base is thinking Czech style all the way. Checkmate. <laughs> oh, these guys are just relieved that someone's got up it. Showing off their hand jams like, oh, what did you do? Did you yeah, do yeah. Hello, 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 hello. I have... J Wait a minute. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Yeah. Right at the end... I've just spotted this. Bookmaker. Seriously. The bookmaker? Yeah. What's the bookmaker? <laughs> the bookmaker. <laughs> I'm the wrong words. The book opener. The book opener. Okay. Where is it? Go on. Check this out. Check this out. Hear me up. Okay. So it comes in at the end. Goes in for the hugs. Goes in for the hugs. I don't know if that, so that's, not, that's not John 1. Someone. What's John 1 doing there? No, that's no, not John one, no, but he's holding the hand. Oh, John one's over there. Showing off some hand jams. Showing off some hand jams. Adam's thinking, yeah, but I know better. <laughs> I'm like way ahead on this. So I'll let you show off a few hand jams. I'll let you feel good about yourself. There. There. Throws in. <laughs> throws in a massive, wide book opener. It's just like, Boom. You give me hand jams. I'll give you a book opener. I'll give you a book opener. <laughs> yeah. He's like a year and a half ahead of us. He's, he's ahead of everybody. We only discovered <laughs> it in the cellar last week. And he's just thrown out a book opener in whatever, whatever month it is. 2019, probably June. A year and a half ago. That is absolutely mad. He's ahead of the times. Just the big O-dog. Just waves it around. Just slips it in. No one noticed it at the time. I never noticed this. I didn't notice this at the time when it was when it was on. No. Well, we didn't know about it. Yeah. Well, we only discovered it the other day. He's he's ahead of the game. That is absolutely mad. <laughs> Adam Andra, <laughs> just just throwing it out there. Yeah. Did he say anything in the interview after? Because it's not like he used the book opener on the crack, was it? No, no. I think he was just alluding. To the, the future. To the he, future of what's to come. Yeah, and the level of his dominance <laughs> in it. Probably. Or maybe he was looking for some crack school business, <laughs> hoping they'd hire him. <laughs> yeah. It was just hand signalling a book opener. Do you want to actually explain what a book opener is? I'm expecting the viewers <laughs> to straight away understand what a book opener is. No, but they don't. The don't book worry. opener is a move where you, you're in a crack, and normally you can be in a crack like this, you can be like that. You can flip your hands other ways, but it's really unusual in a roof crack to flip both hands open yeah. on a book, a book opener. So both facing the same way. Yeah. It's kind of awkward, but it does work for transitions where you're flipping your feet through, where you're doing front side, back, back side, side, 180s. So you could do a front side book opener. Yeah. And a back side book opener. Yeah. So back side book opener. Front side, side book opener. opener. And what was Andra alluding to in there? And I think Andra did. Okay, hugs. Hugs. Dudes. Okay, so he, he's, he's front side. So that, I think this first movement here was, <laughs> this is how I enter the crack in the book opener. Is so, he just one hand there? 
Yeah, he went for one hand initially. Yeah. Then there. just throws it in. <laughs> yeah. Full book opener. Right in plain sight. <laughs> Five guys just dominated <laughs> over them. And just... He's way before us. It's probably because that felt so easy. Yeah. It probably, it probably is. He's probably even gesturing to the root setters. Where's the book opener? Yeah, where's the freaking book opener? <laughs> oh, oh, he's oh, going to have a great time in the cellar when he comes down. Oh, he's going to absolutely smash the book opener move. I've actually lost a lot of confidence now. <laughs> are, you going back on, are you going back on what you've said? Yeah, yeah. Now you've seen this again. I'm actually quite worried now. I didn't really realise how serious it was with Adam until I saw this. Yeah. And then I realised he knows stuff like this already ahead of us. He totally hustled us on this. <laughs> oh... Do you think we can get Adam to do the crackapede when we come down the cellar? Like Andre in a crackapede? Because he's obviously, he's obviously really strong. Ah, and we could be the weak side of the crackapede. Yeah, we could be the weak side and Andre could be the strong side. The hands are the hard, the difficult I side. I think the hard bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, so if we had Andre doing the hands. Yeah. And we could be the feet. What do you mean like a three, three-way three crackapede? Oh, three-way. Just one person. Just, just one person in tight. the middle. Just <laughs> really tight. Yeah, like a board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like... 210 kilos. <laughs> I'm not sure the crack's tested for that. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Yeah, and, Andre at the front, followed by you, followed <laughs> by me at the rear. <laughs> <laughs> you can be the board in the middle and I'll be the feet. He's not going to come down the cellar if you start saying stuff like this. Andre? Yeah. yeah I, think it, I think he'd be up for it. The crack feed? Yeah. Or the crack koala? Just... No, he wouldn't want me on his back, would he? <laughs> And down the side. <laughs> koala <in all>. <laughs> <laughs> the crack koala. Oh, genius. He'd never be able to be a serious climber again. I think we can. As long as we as long as we throw some difficult climbing in with it. Yeah. As long as we throw yeah. some difficult climbing. I mean the the crack beat is difficult. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. Well that was fun.